Right, there we go. Hello, good evening, and I've just been hit by a mini. Welcome to our OMSI 2 live stream. Uh, it's good to see you all here today. We are on the Arcala map, and we're getting absolutely deafened by a flipping fire engine. I have no idea why, but it's been nice and quiet, and then literally there's been a fire engine that's just been doing loops here that spawned in. It, it goes down here, and then comes down here, up there, and, and then kind of goes round again. So it's really, really irritating. It was lovely and quiet. Everybody was like, we were ready to stream. Everything was brilliant. And, and then that happened. Uh, so yeah, apologies about that. Hopefully uh, we shall manage to escape the uh, the fire engine en route. Who have we got today in our chat? We've got Joe Holland. Hello, hello, Imran Arriva. Uh, thank you for joining us. Big M47, Iceman. Uh, hello, good evening. We've got Mike. We've also got uh, Lou B as well in the chat. We've got Alex Turton. Hello, Rob Pullum. Kent Train Fan. Uh, Ashley Cheltenham Bus Driver. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, DL. Oh, friend Nathan comes out with you on your bus. Yes, uh, I have met Nathan. He does seem to enjoy the bus. I keep trying to persuade him to buy one. Uh, he, he doesn't seem to be having it just yet. Uh, I'll have to keep working on that. We've got Will, the champion of buses. Hello, hello. Welcome to our stream. George Garthwaite, hello. And uh, and of course, everybody else, anybody that I have missed. Uh, oh, Louise. Uh, Lou, Lou B, thank you very much. Don't spend it all at once. How very kind of you. £2.69. That's the magic number, isn't it? That fire engine's coming round again for crying out loud. Right, yes, today we are in this Eclipse 2. Can you just not? Because that's just not on. I even tried accelerating time by like a minute, but that only seems to work with AI buses. So uh, yeah, we're in the village livery. Absolutely gorgeous livery. Really does suit this bus. Uh, the bus is gorgeous. The bus is sat on its bum anyway. Look, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just pop a bit of pop a bit of, bit of engine on just to build a bit of air up. There we go. That's going to sit yelling at us for a while, isn't it? And uh, it's got this absolutely lovely interior. Oh, hang on. If we oh no, I thought we got rid of the fire engine for a second. Obviously not. Um, yeah, everything is absolutely flipping lovely in here. I'm, I'm really a fan of this. Uh, there is a link in the description, if I've remembered to put it in. Uh, there's a link in the description uh, to the livery. And uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're a Trent Barton fan, I would absolutely go and check it out. Uh, we've got no air, have we? We'll just, you know what? We'll, we'll go sit down at the back of the bus. There we go. We can uh, we can hear ourselves think now. 
yeah, we're, we're, we're not enjoying the fire engine, it has to be said. Uh, as for the Arcala map, I do not have a release date. I do have a newer version of Arcala. Uh, well, I did, and then I had to reinstall OMSI and I lost it. But the, the, I did have a newer version of Arcala where there'd be some extra routes added. Uh, but I was under strict instructions that I could not show it to the public. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this isn't an updated version. We've driven this version before. Uh, this version will have nothing new in. But I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll go for a little drive on it just because we've not been for a drive in a long period of time. Now, uh, unfortunately, since I downloaded the... Uh, hang on, what route are we on? Let's let's just have a look what route we're on, first of all. Has the fire engine gone? Oh, no, it's back again. We're on the 63 through to Pendle. So we'll just find that on uh, on here. No, are you, are you meaning to tell me that you've not got... Of course you've got 63 on. There you go. Uh, right, Pendle Station, 63. I'm... I'm going to kick off about that fire engine. There we go. Pendle via Crest Hill. When I say I had to reinstall OMSI again, when I said like previously I had to reinstall it, this is the same reinstall. Uh, I don't know why I'm waving my hands around, you can't see that. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, I only reinstalled it once, but obviously lost a lot of things when reinstalling it, and I'm still feeling the repercussions to this day. Right, there we go. We'll log the ticket machine on. Get ready to go. Right. Right, let's go. We'll, uh, we'll we'll get out the way. Now, I've never had such good frame rates here at Stockton Row, because we're obviously starting off in the centre of our car. I've never had such good frame rates, but we do have brilliant frame rates. And, uh, yeah, in since I've started playing our car again, it appears uh, that I get a, uh, a warning message. Am I, am I meant to be stopping here? Am I going here? Terminus Stockton Row. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, no, hang on. Is this the right one? Where am I meant to be? That'll do. Yep, here appears to be the one. Right, get on quick, sir. Just Hello. a single, please, mate. Just a single. Right, here we go. Lovely. Cheers. Oh, hello. I wonder if I could have uh, the ticket uh, where you, I can um, make Obviously this journey. Obviously, we've got tickets selling on, because uh, that's brilliant. I can brilliant. also make other journey, and possibly even a different journey later on in the evening. But I stop talking. Go and sit down. Right. You, I've, I've sold you the ticket. <laughs> um, yes, DL, I will play the new bus sim update when it comes out. That's absolutely imperative. Uh, I'm not particularly excited about it. They've made a lot of promises before. Uh, I shall go into it with an open mind. Oh, do you know what? Should we just let him go past before continuing to speak? In fact, we're going to skip ahead by two minutes. And we're just going to go. Because he's absolutely doing me treeing. Right, off we go. There we go. Have you heard anything about the buses that come with Arcala? Uh, like the MCV Evora. I have heard that there will be some exciting buses coming with Arcala. Uh, I have seen some lovely pictures. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. Although, to be fair, I think most of you probably know anyway because there's been lots of pictures posted on uh, online. So, yeah, you'll probably have seen what buses are coming with Arcala. But I, I can't remember if I'm allowed to say anything or not, so I'll, uh, I'll keep you But, yes, I have seen them and they look absolutely awesome. I know, it's doing my head in, I tell you. I'm absolutely uh, I'm ready to... Uh, Oh dear, I tell you. I don't know what I'm ready to do. So I'm, obviously I'm not ready to do it, am I? Right, here we go. We're far away from the fire engine now. We can still hear it. How can we still hear that fire engine? I'll, uh, I'll have to tell Fully to stop uh, stop allowing them to go round in circles. I'm sure that there's a, a way that he can do that in the map. There we go. Get rid of that. We better not be following us. Nope. Doesn't appear to be. Right, we're off. Car's gonna come whizzing through us, isn't he? Oh, cheers for that, mate. I mean, you're not letting us out, are you? There we go. Yeah, it must be fire practice, Imran. Either that, or there's a lot of uh, pretend Birmingham that's on fire. Ah, there we go. He's despawned. He's despawned. Oh no, he's back again. There must just be a lot of fires in Birmingham this evening. Right, hang on. Where are we going? We're going right down here. Uh, I don't know a release date for Arcala. Fully, uh, I, I don't think fully trust me, to be honest with you. I'm, uh, I'm kept in the dark 
regarding what's happening with Arcala. And to be honest with him, I, I haven't looked for uh, for a release date. I haven't asked him for a release date, sorry, because uh, as a developer, there is nothing more annoying than people constantly. Uh, regardless of whether you like them or not, I'd like to think fully likes me. I mean, he sent me his map for crying out loud. Uh, but there's nothing more annoying than people keep insane, uh, asking when it will be released. Um, so I, I don't like to kind of ask the question because I don't want him to, to kick off at me. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I I don't know, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't think I'd be able to say anyway. Uh, I've been told that there might be a, a new version for me to uh, to test and show to you lot uh, shortly. How long shortly? You know, how long is a piece of string? I can't believe I can tell, it's still here, that fire engine. Uh, Busboy Ben, good evening. Uh, I can't. Uh, single, please, I, uh, Off the top of my head, I can't remember. I would ask fully that, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, hang on. Right. What are we. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Lovely. Oh, there I we go. Take it, please. There doesn't seem to be a lot of traffic, does there? We're going to be doing good for timekeeping on this. Uh, we've got Nathan. Hello. Hello. Uh, Glenn. It's a good question. It is a good question. What bus has the best physics on OMSI compared to real life? I like driving this Eclipse, as you can probably tell, because it features in a lot of my videos. Uh, I do like driving the Renown. The Renown and the Eclipse are definitely two of my favourite buses to drive uh, in terms of realistic physics. I think the Renown just beats it ever so slightly because, I mean, out of the two, I prefer the Renown in real life. Um, it's a really, really well-created bus, uh, or recreated, should I say. It's a really, really well-made bus, so, uh, yeah, I, I would have to go with the Renown, but the Eclipse is not far behind. I think they're both enjoyable to drive for different reasons. Uh, if you ever fancy taking my bus, GX06DYW, for a spin, I'm sure we can arrange something one day. Need to get an MOT on it first. Oh, hang on a second, so that is important. That I pay a visit to Flickr. Uh, Flickr. G Y. You'll probably have told me what it is by the time. Uh, oh, hang on. G Y. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. Whenever I uh, am playing games and using my mobile telephone, it's always a disaster. I must also, at this point, uh, say I never and do not condone using your uh, your telephone or indeed any other electrical item whilst driving. Right, hang on. Before we open the doors, I need to find out what this bus is. GY06 DYW. Oh, GX06. Hang on. Oh, give us a single. Oh, just hang on, love. I'm, I'm carrying out very important research here. Oh, wow, it's an Enviro 300. That's awesome. Have you actually bought that? I'd like a D-Rider, like please. Like an original bodied Enviro 300. That is absolutely brilliant. We used to have them. Uh, we used to have them round here in uh, in Stoke on Trent. I said round here in Stoke on Trent. I don't live in Stoke on Trent, uh, or indeed particularly near Stoke on Trent for that matter. But it's oh, my like closest uh, first group depot, and uh, yeah, absolutely uh, love them because they're quite rare, place. aren't they? Well, they're rare now. They're gone. Uh, when will be at, when will our caliber coming out? Don't know. Uh, so I can't tell you, unfortunately. It will be out when fully decides it's good enough to be out. I mean, you can see from this uh, that we play through, there's still a few gaps missing in the scenery. This is quite an old beta now, uh, so I imagine that there's been plenty of exciting updates since then. So, uh, yeah, uh, in terms of when it comes out, couldn't tell you, to be perfectly honest with you. Well, hey, Magic Toad's with us. Hello, hello, hello. Imran, yep, absolutely agree. The B10 is brilliant. Bit of a beast too. Excellent. I'll, uh, I, I don't know if I would like to drive that because, uh, not because I, I, you know, not because I, I don't want to drive it because I'd absolutely love to. But I just don't know if I'd trust myself driving somebody else's bus. I mean, when you're driving your own bus, it's all right, isn't it? Because if you put your foot down a little bit too much and something blows up on it, then you've only got yourself to blame. But, you know, if, if you did that, could you imagine if you, like, crashed into something driving someone else's... I'd be mortified. I've never had an accident, and touch wood, I, I never will. You know, nobody wants to have an accident, but, uh, but there's a reason they're called accidents, isn't there? Um, but, yeah... I'd, I'd, oh, I don't know. I'd, I'd love to take you up on that offer, but I just don't know if I trust myself enough. Here we are. We've appeared in York City Centre. 
The villager branded buses are numbered 701 to 704. 705 was written off. Oh no, that's no good. Oh, that's terrible. I know that these buses don't actually wear this livery. The, uh, the villager livery, I believe, is worn by Wright Solars. It's not Eclipse Urbans, is it? I don't think it's definitely not Eclipse Twos. This is where someone says, actually, I think you'll find it is. Oh no, not another siren. He'd crash it. Uh, return, please. How dare you? You've been on my bus. You've seen my excellent driving. Oh, we're so late. Look at that. Two minutes late. Obviously, the timetabling isn't complete yet uh, in terms of the timetable data. There's the flag that every time I drive past, go, oh, that's a Russian flag. Knowing full well it's not now, but, you know. I think it, I just need to continue saying that that's a Russian flag just because it's just sort of a thing now, isn't it? Joe says it and gets uh, and gets yelled at. Here we are approaching York Station. Oh, I have also seen from Fully that there is um, there is me. Oh, hang on. What's happening? Oh yeah, always has a little stutter around here. Uh, there is me that uh, that has made an appearance in the next version of Arcala. Because obviously he's got a couple of little Easter eggs in this map. So yeah, I will be featuring. Hey, can I have a return, please? And I'm not going to tell you where. You'll have to work that out. But yeah, in, uh, in the newer version of Arcala, I'm going to feature. So uh, you'll have to look out for that. I've not seen the finished Lovely. version myself. Jeez. But uh, yeah, can I, I, have, I have seen a picture of myself in Arcala. Oh, there we go, a oh, couple more people. Oh yeah, that was what I was also going to say. I keep meaning to say it, but the, the fire engine was single, please, mate. distracting. Uh, oh, hang on, smart card. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we have no AI buses on. Because day, since I driver. bought the, uh, the, the the thing, the Digibus Mirage, oh, aka the Opta Solo, uh, for some reason it's broken my Arcala. Oh, right. <laughs> I have tickets, absolutely please. no idea why. But it seems to work when I drive with no AI buses on. Um, I've tried uninstalling, reinstalling, all that with uh, with the the, uh, the the Mirage, and I've got no idea what's causing it. Neither does Fully. Um, all we can hope for is that when he sends the next version over, if he sends, he might decide he doesn't like me anymore. Uh, he might decide that after this stream, I am no good at uh, at arcalering. Uh, but yeah, he uh, hopefully when he sends the newer version over. Uh, it will all be fixed. Although it has to be said, I have noticed a distinct, distinct improvement since, uh, in terms of the, the frame rates, since I turned off AI traffic. Look how smooth it is. I mean, that's because there's a lot of routes, isn't there? There's a lot of AI routes in Arcala, a lot of different branded routes, but this is the area that I've always had an issue with my frame rates. Oddly specific question, Will. Uh, I would say that an LED uh, over a flip dot. Oh, hang on, there's nobody there. For goodness sake, this is why you're late. You're stopping at bus stops when there's nobody to pick up, you idiot. Uh, do I know the latest status about the Omnidecker? Uh, no, I've not seen any pictures in a little while, to be honest with you. I've not been looking to tell you the truth. Um, I would absolutely love close to the time for them to send over a copy for us to explore, but, uh, but I've not asked. Either that or I did ask many years ago, I can't remember. Uh, I've not asked recently anyway, I've not badgered them. Um, I guess if they want me to show it, they'll they'll get in contact, won't they? Um, but yeah, I'd absolutely love to have a go at the Omnidecker. I don't know the first thing about them, uh, so I wouldn't be able to tell you how realistic it was. Um, I can't even remember the last time I've been on one. I must have been on one at some point. Yeah, off the top of my head, I can't remember ever going on one. Did Marbus have them? They had the um, the Scania Olympus things, didn't they? Or Visionaires. Been on them. Dobson Lane. Yeah, that might be what it is. That might be what it is. Uh, I, I don't know him, Ram. Hello, Mike. I'm, I'm glad you're here. It's, uh, it's been a while since you popped in. It's, it's lovely to have you here. Uh, the Villager is so late. Right Eclipses nowadays. Oh, excellent. Uh, the Right Eclipse in my mind, and obviously everybody has their own opinion, don't they? But I think the Eclipse is vastly superior uh, to that of the Solar. Scania fans, uh, yeah, you know, ooh, that would be a back wheel. 
Scania fans never uh, never like that opinion, but yep, yeah, Volvo over Scania every day of the week for me. Right, we're off into the bus lane. Oh, Gem's redoing. Oh, wow. Not, I, I guess the, uh, oh, hang on, that's not good. I'll just nip across. There we go, change it to that lane now. There you go. How many times have I driven up here and I still can't remember uh, which lane to be in? Uh, do I work for Studio Polygon? I do not work for Studio Polygon. I know the people in Studio Polygon very well. And uh, dare I even say that we're friends. They might say, no, we, we, do you know what, we want to distance ourselves. No, nope, not friends. He's just someone that does videos for us. But uh, no, I don't work for Studio Polygon. That said, uh, I really do recommend their products. You know, I'd, I'd like to think you always get a fairly honest view of things from myself. Regardless of whether a developer sends me a thing free or whether I have to pay for it myself. Um, you know, anyone that's watched my stuff, I'd, I'd like to think I do give an honest review of things. Uh, and Studio Polygon's products, I've never had a bad one. So, uh, yeah, that's why I am always singing their praises, because, you know, the, they are the best buses for Omsi. Closely followed, of course, by Master Switch. I mean, my favourite bus of all time nice. is the Right Eclipse Urban, which, of course, Master Switch are doing. So, uh, you know, as much as the Renown might be a little bit more detailed and uh, might have a little bit more functionality, I'm always going to keep coming back to these Master Switch buses, because oh, they are my favourite buses. Maybe not the Eclipse 2, but uh, do I enjoy... Oh, oh, hang on. Connell Platt's unsubscribing after the Scania comment. Yeah, I, I thought that that was going to leave us uh, divided there, Connell. How on earth am I so late? 4.2 minutes late. What happened to the timetable? Um, do I enjoy the B5 LH? <coughs> Excuse me, Gemini 2s? Not particularly. I think if I'm going for a Gemini 2, I would much prefer a, a B90L. Fully has specifically said he's not going to move this uh, this junction back here because I said he should so that if you're in a single decker like this you've got enough space to spin round and uh, so yeah he, uh, he he didn't so much as tech that on board as just send me lots of screenshots in fact I think he moved it closer so it's more difficult this is why I always struggle to give fully feedback because it always backfires How on earth are we so late? Livery Street, this is our next stop. Thought we'd get a nice sunset. Amster TV, hello, I'm very well, how are you? Notice there's two City Bus Manager episodes this week, why is that? Um, the fact of the matter is, uh, oh hang on, there we go, we can have 50 pence change. Uh, two city bus managers because they're popular. People seem to quite like them. And uh, instead of what was I going to do? I was looking at like what episodes we were going to do when, and uh, I found myself with a gap in the weekly schedule. If you remember, the last couple of Fridays I've not actually put anything out since Bus Simulator 21 finished. So I've had a little rejig, and uh, and thought we could have city bus manager twice a week. Uh, we might obviously cut that back to once a week there may and I say may in the loosest sense of the word be a, a new transport fever 2 series like a sort of mini series to run alongside the American uh, series the reason I say that is because they've sent me the new uh, the new update with a couple of new maps and I thought it would be nice to we're going uh, I thought it'd be nice to do a sort of mini series on that yeah absolutely I can't uh, I can't agree with you more right Mike Studio Polygon Gemini 1 pack, it's going to be awesome. I uh, I went with First Enviro, Hello, uh, Can I have who is please? one half of the three people at Studio Polygon. And uh, we went recording Geminis at First Halifax. We've recorded B70Ls please, with the old cab, with the new cab, uh, Hoover, non-Hoover, inside, external, or internal, external sounds. And we've also done B9s as well. Uh, so hopefully got a load of absolutely brilliant sound sets for the Gemini so even if first enviro completely messes up the model uh, it should sound good and you know from uh, from like the likes of train simulator and the digibus mirage uh, I am all about the sounds and the physics and the look of it but yeah the sounds have to be good don't they am 
mind just driving really slow? How am I five minutes late? Uh, oh, sorry, Rob, I think you asked about Xbox One. I do not have an Xbox One. Uh, I'm not a console gamer. I'm purely PC gamer. Uh, a couple of people have asked me to play Transport Fever when it comes out on console, if I could play it on console. I always find that a bit of an odd request because it's the same game as on the PC. It's just on a different platform, so I, I don't get what would be different. But obviously I'm sure maybe there would be something different and I'm just completely missing it. But, uh, but, <laughs> but yeah... Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't have consoles. Uh, I have, in fact, I'll tell you this for free. Uh, I do have a PlayStation 2 downstairs, of which I do quite enjoy uh, going on Simpsons Hit and Run every now and then because, I mean, come on, it's Simpsons Hit and Run. There's a load of classics that I've got for that that I just have to keep hold of. Half of you won't even know what a PlayStation 2 is, for goodness sake, but, uh, but yeah, do love my PlayStation 2. There we go. Come on. Uh, will you be doing a video, will you be making videos on the Master Switch Veiling one when you get to test it? Heck, do you know something I don't? Um, do you know what? I would absolutely love uh, to do videos on the Master Switch Veiling one. That is up to Master Switch. Um, I mean, they know who I am by now, uh, so if they want to send me a copy then that would be absolutely awesome. Um, I'm surprised that they haven't reached out to be honest with you, because obviously I do own a B7R Elite Right Eclipse Urban, uh, a real one, and of course if they wanted to record sounds then obviously the, there's a bus there, you know, so that would be pretty awesome, to be honest with you, but uh, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. It would be awesome, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. we we'll just blast through there, because you know. Do the passengers say morning sweetie? Or anything cheeky. I don't know. They um, they don't seem to be talking as much on this. It might be because I've got my amount of sounds turned down. Do I own Tram Sim Vienna? Can I, have a return, I do own Tram Sim Vienna. Uh, I like Tram Sim Vienna. There you go. Go and sit right, down. Mike gives you a return. Five fifty. Thank you Lovely. Very Thank much. you. Ooh, give me a day rider, mate. Day rider. There we go. Just a oh, single please, mate. Here, We're going to be so late. What's happened to the Single. timetable recently? Uh, Single, please. Bear with, I should be back reading the uh, the comments section yeah, like. in just one second. There we go. People keep saying the Gemini one's cancelled. Oh, I can assure you the Gemini pack is not cancelled. Or not unless First Enviro's changed his mind since I last saw him, but uh, no, the Gemini pack is very much still coming. So, uh, so yeah, don't panic about that, everybody. Uh, going to be doing videos on Bus Simulator 21 map expansion. Yes, I am. I can't say that I'm hopeful that uh, that they've improved it because there's a lot of bugs still, uh, like a year in. Hang on, what? What? Like nearly two years in. Uh, there's still a hell of a lot of bugs. So I'm not convinced that Bus Simulator 21 and this new pack that they're uh, they're selling this DLC. Right. Okay. Yeah. We're we're. We appear to have a traffic issue. That seems to have uh, have arrived since we last uh, we, we last played this. Pretty bizarre. Maybe it's just the cars have got stuck. I guess it can happen. Um, where are we now? Uh, what do you prefer, engines or boring EV? Well, I have a feeling. Uh, at Tom's time that I have uh, I, well I have a feeling I know what you might prefer uh, yeah I definitely prefer combustion engine I just think this sounds so much better and obviously the varieties a little worry electric motor it just doesn't do anything for me so uh, yeah I'm going to agree with you there Jack Sargent hello welcome to our stream this evening does Omzi feel as realistic as driving in reality without being flung about the thing that I noticed when driving my Eclipse which obviously in OMSI isn't simulated and they would really struggle to simulate it to be honest with you um, is just quite how much everything vibrates I know that Eclipses have never been known for being a particularly well built body have they? I mean as much as I love them the build quality is absolutely garbage um, 
you know, you're driving along, the steering wheel is literally leaping about in your hand, as is the dash. The dash is wobbling about all over the place. I don't know how that is for the Eclipse 2s, but I'd imagine it was fairly similar, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah. Uh, return, please. Omzi doesn't really simulate that. Hang on, what, have I, what am I doing there? There we go. Oh, there's a lot of sirens again. So, yeah, that's, that's the main difference. And, of course, driving in real life, driving a bus in real life, is actually easier than driving on Omzi. And you might think... How can that be? You know, Omzi, it doesn't matter if you, you know, if you crash, you've got collisions turned off. But don't forget that cars in Omzi don't get out your way. They don't give you space. Uh, they are, well, they're just AI, aren't they? Cars in real life will stop and give you space, which is lovely. And, of course, don't forget that you can move your head. So if you can't quite see something in the mirror there, on Omzi, you've just got to sort of go for it. On the, uh, you know, in real life, you can move your head. You can get up if you can't quite see something. So I would say driving a bus in real life, uh, whilst there is infinitely more chances of having a crash than there is an OMSI, um, it's, I, I think it's easier, personally. Uh, yes, what are we... Uh, you have an eclipse, you've never mentioned that before. Hey, I was asked about real life driving, so, you know, some people might be watching this who weren't aware. They may be new to the channel. So yeah, got to advertise that everywhere, haven't I? Um, mine also doesn't make that weird whirring noise when you turn the steering wheel. I don't know if that's a new thing. Uh, do I know when the Eclipse 1 pack is coming? Absolutely not, unfortunately. I mean, if it was up to me, ASAP. I mean, to be fair, I imagine Masters Witch want it out ASAP, because, you know, profitable for them. But uh, yeah, I don't know, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, it will get here when it gets here. But rest assured, I shall be the first person <laughs> to have that in my basket. Uh, the second that's announced on the Steam store, it'll be going in my wish list. And, uh, yeah, I'll be absolutely having a bit of that. Uh, which version of Arcala is this? Away from Arcala, there we go. Uh, this is the Beta 8, so it's the version that we've had all along. Um, nothing's changed. Well, I do have a newer version. Or did anyway, but uh, uh, where are they going? Uh, unfortunately, due to having to reinstall Omzi, uh, I no longer have that. But I wasn't allowed to show you it anyway, which is why I never did a stream on it. Uh, or a video for that matter. Bear with, we'll get this uh, this last. Have you got pro mods? Yes, I do have pro mods now. Oh, there is pro mods. I know I didn't have it on the first video oh, I, I did, uh, right but it, the streams that I've done since and the latest video which was uh, yesterday, was that today? Might have been today even, I can't remember. All the days roll into one. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that now has pro mods on it, so that's exciting. There's a Right Eclipse 1.5 on Fellows film. Absolutely, and it was fantastic for its time. Hang on, what, what route are we on? 63, yes. I really need to sort my anti-aliasing out on Omzi. Uh, there is a uh, Right Eclipse 1.5 on Fellows Film, but it's just not as good as the Master Switch stuff. I mean, it was great when we didn't have anything else, but yeah, it's just not as good as the Master Switch stuff. So uh, yeah, if you had to pick between the two and you've got a bit of money to spend, then uh, yeah, definitely uh, I'd go for the veiling. Every day of the week, Monday to Sunday includes him. Can you code when you make games? Um, I have the ability to do a little bit of scripting. I wouldn't say that, you know, I couldn't make a bus like this. I probably could do if I sat down and, you know, really spent the time to learn how to do it. But partly I don't have the time and partly I just can't be bothered to tell you the truth. If I was going to make a bus, I would make an Eclipse Urban. Master Switch are already doing an Eclipse Urban and they've proved from this bus that they're quite good at making Eclipses. So uh, I think I'll leave it to the experts. I'll just buy it and sit here and criticise the whole way uh, and, and point and say, that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. I think that's more where I'm what? talented, uh, uh, to be honest with you, please. <laughs> rather than uh, doing it myself. But, no, I have oh, made mods for things. I've made mods for Transport Fever that rely on uh, a bit of scripting, City Amy, Skylines, mods for uh, sit, uh, not Cities in Motion. Uh, Chris Sawyer's Locomotion. God, that's going back a few years, isn't it? I think the timetable's just sort of gone out the window at this point, hasn't it? Can you
can you also do a live stream on City Bus Manager or Skylines? Well, I was thinking of doing one on City Bus Manager. Um, so, yeah, I, I was thinking of doing that. I should have done one on Transport Fever, to be honest, because it was actually today that that new uh, Deluxe Edition pack thing came out. So I should really have done it, but I only got the email off them saying, oh, by the way, we'd like you to try this uh, after I put this live stream out. And I was really umming and ahhing about cancelling this and changing it to Transport Fever. But I thought, do you know what? There'll be some people that really want to see our Carla. So we'll go with this and uh, and we shall uh, we'll do Transport Fever another time. Return, yes, Connell, please. I have played it. I was playing it just before I did this, uh, to be honest with you, and it's brilliant. You can't bulldoze farms, though, anymore. Right, the farmland. You, you can't seem to get rid of the fields. So, uh, yeah, you really have to plan your routes a bit better. Can I drive an articulated bus in real life? I can't. That's scary, isn't it? So, weirdly enough, I can't drive. So, my license uh, allows me to drive any bus, which is scary. Um, double decker, single decker, bendy bus, uh, etc. But I can't drive anything with a trailer on it. So, I can drive an 18 meter, and this is how ridiculous it is. I can drive an 18 meter Citaro, yeah? Not that I'd want to, but I could do. You know, if someone came along with a Citaro, put a gun to my head and said, drive that, I could do it. I don't know if I could do it, like I might crash oh, yeah. it, but I could legally do it. And, but what I couldn't do is drive a minibus, so like a Mercedes Sprinter, with, you know, you get the Lovely luggage trailers on the back cheese. that maybe Hello, scouts driver. have, you know, or Shearing's holidays, they have a little trailer for the luggage on the back. I wouldn't be able to drive a Mercedes Sprinter with the trailer on the back, which is much smaller and probably easier to drive than a Citaro. So work that one out. Have I played Farm Simulator? I have not. And uh, Mason, what's your thoughts on Enviro 200 MMCs? I don't really care for them, to be honest with you. I don't dislike them. I don't like them. Um, you know, when I saw, for instance, the Eclipse for the first time, I thought, wow, that's a really good looking bus. I'm just not sold on the uh, on the MMC. There's no wrong with it, you know, they're, they're decent enough, they do a job, but I don't love them. Uh, like, I, I think these are fantastic. Uh, same as, I tell you what I do like, the MCV Evora. And I don't know why I like it, but I just do. I think if you look at the MCV Evora single decker, it's such a good looking single decker bus. It's brilliant. Might be terrible to ride on, but uh, hang on, that's towards our car, so we're not stopping there. We're going around the corner, are we? Yeah. Imran, absolutely, got to watch the blind spots. There we go. The steering wheel and OMSI, uh, are they that flat in real life? Mm, yes, the steering wheel on my right. Eclipse is, uh, is very flat. It's, uh, it's a different yeah, sensation to driving a car, definitely. And I wish that I could kind of get a flat wheel for the desk. It'd be brilliant, but uh, it's quite a niche well, thing, I isn't it? Bus you, wheels you. for bus simulators. Uh, return, please. Lovely. Cheers. What? Return, please. Oh, a bit of ticket in. There we go. Hello, mate. Oh, hang on. Shut down in someone's face. Uh, a day my apologies, please. sir. I'll be kicking off and I've got no assault screen. You've just trapped my head in the doors. Right, off we go. Uh, did I say I can script? Um, in the loosest sense of the word, yes, I have scripted in the past. Um, you know, like I can go in and find values and change them if I need to, you know, from like true to false. So I can, I can sort of mess about with it, but if you sat there and said, right, make a script, I don't know, make a class 144 for train sim, Absolutely not. It, it wouldn't happen. But if the script that other people have made, I can go in and edit values to suit me. Um, but you know, I've I've never, I've never like done any serious scripting. So I I would probably say you know if you were looking for someone to help you with scripting something, I wouldn't touch me with a barge pole personally. Uh, I just sort of fiddle about with stuff and occasionally it works. Wait, hang on, that's a curb. We drive the B10 BLE next. Oh, uh, to be honest with you, Imran, I think we're only going to be driving this one way this evening because uh, unfortunately work commitments mean we've not got oh, the longest time in the world. 
Um, but yeah, we will make a point of driving the B10 in future. But yeah, we're going all the way on this one. Well, you should have got the bus in front of him, love in all honesty. What time do I call this? Uh, I'd say it were about 16.38. What time do you call it? If you watch slow. How come I haven't made a video on the Citaro UK? I have. I made a video on the Citaro UK years ago. Why are we not going? Because I've not taken my handbrake off. You sausage. Logitech heavy equipment bundle wheel is a bit flatter uh, than the racing wheels. I'll have to have a look at that. Although, to be fair, I do like my T300. Uh, that's what I use at the moment, the Thrustmaster T300 RS. And uh, and I do like that. It's um, it's a really, really good wheel, to be honest with you. And uh, and it cost me a fair bob or two a few years ago. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to part with it just yet. But you never know. If, if it, you know, catches fire, blows up, just decides that it's had enough, then maybe I shall check that out. Absolutely, I am Owen. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm still interested. I know it's probably a while off yet from when I saw your last screenshots, but uh, yeah, absolutely. Keep going with it. Any more trains in videos, Joe? Joe? Uh, hmm, I don't know, to be perfectly honest with you. I'd like to. I wanted to do a live stream um, of London King's Cross all the way through to Leeds in a class 91. And uh, for some reason, I never got round to it. You know how life is, it just gets in the way, doesn't it? Um, yeah, never got round to it. But I would like to do it. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Pete. Despawning traffic, I am considering turning that off. I don't know if I want to see quite how bad my city is. I don't know if I quite want to see how bad it is, because, uh, you know, we already know that it's bad. <laughs> Do we need reminding? Does my wheel work on Xbox? Um, I don't know. It has a PlayStation symbol in the middle of it, so I would hazard a guess no. Uh, it might do. The comment section on this is your friend, because uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't have an Xbox, so I've never had the need to try it. There we go. Handbrake on. Dear me. Right, there we go. Uh, got a pulsar mod. That's gone very quiet, hasn't it? I've forgotten about that. This pack, of course, was meant to contain a pulsar too. Uh, but due to COVID, apparently, they were struggling with getting sounds for it. It's been a while, hasn't it, that? I wonder if it's still meant to include the pulsar or whether that's quietly, quietly disappeared. I would be really interested to see... Uh, I would love the Pulsar on this as well. The Pulsars operate my local route for now until Arriva uh, pull out of... Where are they pulling out of? Are they shutting down Macclesfield and Winsford, I think they are, round near us? So, uh, yeah, we won't have Pulsars round near us for much longer. It'll all be going over to D&G bus. So, uh, yeah, for now, brilliant. Yep. Oh, excuse me. I've got job collisions are turned off. Goodness me. They've apparently got more refs for it. That's awesome. Oh, Fantastic. Hello. I wonder if I could have uh, the ticket uh, where you, I can um, make this journey, but also a little... Thank you very much. That's really mm. good. Um, mm. Yeah, it's really good that they've got more refs for it. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't it's been keeping up with any mind. of the groups. You know, if you ask, like, oh, you know, Fellows Film, I occasionally have a look on nice there. That's where I got this nice. livery from. Um, I just, I just don't keep up with it, and I should do. Uh, I really should. Rider, please. But you just find that you don't look at something for all of five minutes, and then three months Ooh, have gone by. You think, good rider, lord, mate. where's the time gone? Lovely. Just, it just disappears. Yeah, maniac. Yeah, I agree with you, Imran. I love Pulsars as well. I think they're brilliant buses. Um, the lightweight chassis, oddly, I'm not normally a fan of the lightweight chassis. But, uh, yeah, I absolutely am. Uh, a fan of the Pulsar. I think this sounds brilliant. If I had to pick, I'd pick the Volvo B7 Eclipse 2 over the Pulsar 2 every day of the week. But that doesn't mean to say that I dislike the Pulsar. I just don't like it as much as I love these things. Right, so 63. We're going straight on here, aren't we? Because we're not terminating. Centigo Road. Oh, what's that? Something's 
What's happened? Someone's just... Has someone just gone fly... Uh, uh, <laughs> you'll have to rewind that and look, but did a pedestrian just go flying up into the air? I'm sure they did. Uh, no. Goodness only knows what happened there. I don't know. I, I wasn't imagining that, was I? Uh, Jack the Omsi fan, I've just sent you the mod on Discord for the Veiling. Oh, that's awesome. Cheers for that, to Jack. I'll have to check that out uh, shortly. Probably not this time, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely have to have a look for it. See uh, and have a go. But I don't know if I'd be able to honestly drive it with pulsar sounds and a Volvo steering wheel looking at me. That that just might not sit well. Yeah, <laughs> Lou. Yeah, probably Excuse is my man. <laughs> that is brilliant. Where did you buy your watch? The Disney shop. I'll have to use that next time I'm complaining to someone about being late. Having said that, I, I don't tend to complain to people about delays. I think it'd probably be a bit hypocritical to be honest with you. Poor old Mavis has been abducted. I know she's gone. Yeah, I think, uh, I know this isn't a final timetable by any stretch. Uh, the timetable's just sort of uh, there to give you a feel of what's going on, but uh, I definitely think that the timetable needs adjusting. Because, right, I mean, I, I drive at a normal speed, I'd say. Not too fast, not Hello, too driver. slow. And uh, I'm, what, 10 minutes behind now? 11.6 minutes behind. It's not ideal, <laughs> is it? Just rewinded the stream, there was a person flying in circles. Do you know what? I'm really glad that I wasn't going insane. A pedestrian being abducted, absolutely. Uh, will Omsi work on my business laptop from 2012? Um, I would check it against the minimum requirements, to be honest with you. Um, I know that a lot of people do have a lot of problems with performance on Omsi. Even if you have the minimum requirements. So I would, uh, I, I would just double check, but... I can't make any promises, to be honest with you. Omsi's one of those. You can have an absolutely terrible computer, and it works absolutely fine. You can have a brilliant computer, and it's laggy and stuttery. I, I really don't understand, like... You know, I, I don't understand how Omsi works. It doesn't work like normal games. It's the bane of my life. I'll tell you that now. Hell, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit rude. A bit more of that attitude, love. You'll be finding yourself waiting for the next one. <laughs> which, which is probably right behind us, to be honest with you, so she won't be that late. You're running Just a very, single, very please, late, driver. I beg your pardon? <laughs> awesome. Would you a single, please? Thank you very much. Come on, get on the bus. This is why we're late, see you lot. Are we busy? Heck, we're full and standing. Right, do you know what? I'm taking the executive decision. The bus is full. Nobody gets on. Nobody gets off. Mishmosh. Did you know there's already a bus with a pulsar? It has the B7L steering wheel. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, there's so many mods out there. Uh, I, I don't keep track of all of them. I'd, I'd love to say that I did, but I don't, to be honest with you. Uh, what game is this? This is Omzi 2. The best bus simulator available on the market, despite being 11 years old this year. Goodness me. Uh, Yet, yeah, it, it was 2012, wasn't it? That this came out, not 2013, because don't don't tell me that, because you know the whole thing won't have worked. Our usual driver is never this late. <laughs> uh, return, please. <laughs> Do you know what? I I have a feeling that I'm not particularly well liked Lovely. in the West Midlands. Jeez. Love it. Joe, can you make OMSI 3? You've seen how talented I am at driving these things. Do you really think I could make a game? I'd, I would love to say that I could make a game. I really would. I'd love to have a go, but I just don't have the time. I don't have the skill. I don't have the... You know, a, a bus game that I made would probably look like, if you look at like a 1980s flight simulator where everything's square, you know the planes are just cubes, flying cubes, that would be uh, the, the Joe Ahead bus simulator. 
I mean, I've got all the reference material, you know, Right Renown, Right Eclipse, uh, you know, all the all the bits and pieces. So if someone did want to make a... Uh, oh, hang on, yeah, the bus is full. Duh. I've just said I'm not stopping anymore. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Completely oh, forgot. Thank you very much. In fact, she's not getting on, so yeah, the bus is actually full now. Well spotted there. They are bitter, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not stopping anymore, he says, and then proceeds to stop everywhere still. Maybe we'll catch up a bit of time now. Joe would be a good dev supervisor. Absolutely. I think from a player perspective, I would be useful to have on a dev team. There you go. This is, this is me selling myself. Hopefully there's some devs that are uh, developing a bus simulator watching right now. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Um, oh, nobody's getting off. Come on, Jud. Pay attention. It's because I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to do this. Uh, OMSI was released 11th of December 2013. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, thanks for that, CG Skins. Um, oh, someone's getting off now. Right, we're going to stop now. Actually, for real. This means somebody's going to get on. Which one of them is it going to be? It's just one person getting off? Yeah, I think I'd be good at, like, and I know what I would look for in a game. So, you know, Can I have a if I was on the Dovetail Games panel, and thank heavens I'm not, but, you know, I would be saying to them, look, they want multiplayer. This is what SimRail is, you know. This is why SimRail's doing good. They want multiplayer. They want to be able to create their own scenarios, their own routes, their own skins. You know, this is what people want. So get to it. Make it happen, you know. And I think sometimes these big developers forget what it is that the actual consumer, i.e. the gamer, i.e. the customer, actually wants. OMSI is 10 years old this year. It's not 10 years old yet. But, uh, yeah, it's 10 years old this year, and it's still the most popular bus simulator. You know, there's been things, Bus Simulator 16, Bus Simulator 18, Bus Simulator 21, The Bus, uh, City Bus Simulator, oh no, that was 2010. But how many bus simulators has there been? And yet, OMSI is still the best one. And why is that? Because it's got everything. You can make your own maps, mod, sell, third parties, you know, there's just so much you can do. Will there be an OMSI 3? Sadly not. Uh, there's a long list of reasons why there won't be an OMSI 3. Right, someone getting off here. Yeah. Am I making any buses for OMSI? Good lord, no. No, I am not making any buses for OMSI. Um, I'd love to have a go at it, but the only bus that I would probably make, or the only buses, would be either a B10, which there is one, and... Let's face it, I'm not going to make a better one, am I? Because it's awesome. Oh, the B7 Eclipse, and it's actually already in development. So, yeah, there's there's very little point in me even trying to learn how to make a bus. Yeah, Euro Truck, exactly, Connell. Euro Truck Simulator is still the best truck simulator because it's got everything that people want, and until something comes along that has that, it's why Train Sim World's struggling because everything that everyone wants is in Train Sim Classic. So why would you go to Train Sim World? Okay, it looks pretty. I'll give them that. The graphics are stunning. But, you know, it, it doesn't have everything. So that's why I think I'd be quite good if I was kind of advising. I'd be a good, what, what's the word? Um, not an accountant. God, I'd be a terrible accountant. I can't even do my own accounts. Um, like a consultant. I think I'd be quite good at that. To people listening thinking, you're talking absolute nonsense, you idiot. Yeah, well, that's why you come here for the talking of nonsense. Uh, is there a release date? No, there is not at this moment in time. Uh, this is not the final beta, uh, as you can see. You might, we're actually in an area that's had a lot of time spent on it. But uh, yeah, there are areas of this map that are somewhat lacking scenery. It's true. I know it's hard to imagine when we're driving around these pretty little villages. But uh, yeah, some of it's still lacking scenery, so uh, <laughs> chill. I love that. I should chill. I'm getting very stressed out by the fact we're late. Not stressed out with this lot of getting anyway. Right, foot down.
who's getting on the bus then? Is he going to be a gentleman and let her on? Or is he late for work? He's going to elbow her out of the way. On what time? Did you get lost, mate? You're a bit late. Right, where are we? Yeah. I think you better double check. Don't give over. Go and sit uh, down. A day rider, please. There's a very weird noise Lovely. coming from the kitchen. Jeez. That's why I was just having a bit of a pause, because uh, I'm technically in the house on my own now, so I'm wondering what that noise is. We've been raided, for goodness sake. That's all you need. Thirteen and a half minutes late, and then your house gets broken into. That's It's just not what you need, is it? Oh, we're slipping a giga. Come on. There we go. Joe is 15 minutes late. I know it's shocking, isn't it, Imran? Right, Chester Stand Mall. We're going to go whizzing past that. This is normally where you stand and wait time, so maybe after Chester Stand Mall, we're going to catch time up. I mean, we might not and all, but, uh, you know. Have I ever popped a tyre whilst driving something? That, Kyle, is an oddly specific question. And uh, the answer is no, I have never popped a tyre. Uh, my shock absorber on my minis leapt through the bonnet. It didn't quite leap through the bonnet, but it punctured a tyre. Um, but I haven't popped it in that sense, like driven over something. Uh, but I was only in a car pack at the time. I honestly have no idea how I did it. But uh, but yeah, so I suppose mm, maybe I have popped a tyre. No, popping is not the right word. I shredded it. <laughs> it's a miracle there was any tyre left on the wheel. And it's still to this day, I think the shock absorber just got worn and worn and worn. And just gave way. Honestly, it went with such a bang, I thought I'd been shot at. I, I was very like, Whoa. Do I work for first bus? No, I do not. I do not work for first bus. I'm not a bus driver. I can drive buses, but I am not uh, a bus driver by trade, so to speak. You're more late than my usual bus services. Are your bus services usually quite punctual, Mike? Or are they very late. Is there a sense of irony uh, in that statement? In City Bus Manager from when we started the series, pretend to be one of your drivers. Brilliant. Sean, and then I see where the shift route assigns me to. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm glad you're enjoying the series, Pete. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that you can uh, take some enjoyment from the Joe Ahead group. How often do you get to drive your real-life buses? Not as often as I'd like. The, um, the problem with the real-life buses is they're quite far away because uh, they're stored in Accrington, which is about an hour and 15 minutes drive away. So it's not like they're around the corner and I can just pop round to them. You know, it would be nice if they were around the corner, but obviously you try find somewhere to store two 40-foot buses. Um, so I, you have to kind of, whenever you go, you know, if they were just around the corner, you could just nip down a ticket for a quick whiz round, couldn't you? And, uh, and then go back again. But with them being far away, you always have to make a day of it, which is fine, you know, and there's a lot of really great people where my bus is stored uh, at the moment. So, you know, there's, there's that too. But yeah, not as often as I'd like. It would be lovely if they were just on the drive, wouldn't it? Or in a garage next to the house. I mean, I live in a terrace house, so we'd have to, you know, ask the next door neighbours to leave and bulldoze their house. I don't know if they'd be too thrilled at that, but, uh, but yeah, it would be lovely to have them closer. But uh, it's sadly not to be, I'm afraid. Can you drive a bi-articulated bus? I don't think we have any of them in the UK, so I, I probably wouldn't be able to. I mean, even if I had a licence, I probably wouldn't be able to put a crash into something. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I would I be able to do it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Francesca Knight, good evening. Nice to see you on our Carla. Always passes an evening watching your streams. Thank you very much, Francesca. That's very kind of you. It's lovely to be back on our Carla. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of, it, there was, uh, I, I keep getting pestered by Fully. I say I keep getting pestered, we had a couple of conversations, but that to me constitutes borderline harassment. Um, and he, he was saying, you've not done anything on Arcala. I said, but I've not had anything new Arca on Arcala to do. And he told me that was no excuse, and I should do more on Arcala. So I was basically, I, he's actually sat next to me now with a gun to my head. Um... You know, so I'm I'm to play Arcala and say nothing but nice things about it. 
All oh, right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So he just just jabbed me in the temple there with the with the revolver. Um, this is close to Avantis circa June 2022. What with the timetable, you mean? All right, round we go. Oh, that is the bat wheel of uh, That's the bat wheel. That's annoying. You could see that. Uh, you could see it was going to happen before it happened. It's city bus manager, you need to check your passenger uh, services. It's packed. Yeah, I, I do, do. We really need to do something with that. Oh my lord, we're only 5.8 minutes late, everybody. That is good stuff. Our buses turn up when they please. Is it more of a calendar than a timetable? I feel like that's what we've got on this. In fact, for the Arcala voice pack, uh, I specifically want fully to record uh, my voice pretending to be an old lady saying, uh, guys, a timetable or a calendar? I think, I think we need that. I'm, I'm absolutely sure we need that. God, an hour in already, where does the time go? Somerset buses, hello, and Graham Bewley as well. Hello, we're on the wrong side of the road, for goodness sake. Right, where are we? No bus coming, or car, or anything like that. Uh, Owen, I've been seeing progress by Fully on his Discord. He's been very busy working on the city centre. Excellent. That's why I'm guessing he hasn't given out a new beta version. Ah, you see, I'll, I'll be holding him to this now, because he said to me uh, that he that I needed to do this video, and I have. So I'll be saying to him, come on, where's, where's my beta? You know, ahem. <coughs> <laughs> I've held up my end of the bargain. Oh dear. He's probably not even watching, you know, and that's what's depressing. Either that or he's going to comment saying, I've been here the whole time. <laughs> and no, after everything you've said, you may not have another beta. You can get in the bin. Not even the recycling. Now we're just rambling. How much is left to do on the map, Will? I mean, there's quite a bit left to do. There's a bit of timetabling left to do. I mean, there's like blank bits there. It's only cosmetic really. The roots seem to be in but uh, then there might be more roots coming. Uh, you know, there might be. I'm saying nothing. You've already sort of said something there. Yeah, there, there might be new roots. You never know, you might cancel them again. East Yorkshire buses have sold nearly all their B7TL Gemini 1s to Ellie Rose. Oh, that's... Um, well, actually, uh, some of them have gone to go northwest. New buses for Manchester. We saw them all going across the Pennines in uh, in East Yorkshire livery. Oh, we can get that down. Flipping it. Been blinded. There we go. Little beep. I think Fully needs to string up Rishi Sunak somewhere on the map like our Boris and our Teresa. Don't think Liz Truss is worth it. No, I mean, did anyone get a picture of her while she was in office? She wasn't in office long enough, was she? She could. Do you know what? Liz Truss, and if, if he does implement this in the map, he might have already done something like this, but there was that thing of Liz Truss versus the lettuce, and I think that Liz Truss should be stood in the window of a greengrocer or stood on like a market stand selling lettuces. There you go. That's your idea, Fully. That is your amazing, groundbreaking idea. Uh, get Liz Truss on a market stall somewhere. Maybe near Chester Stanmore, little market near the town. Uh, little outdoor market. Or oh, selling lettuces from a car boot Sing sale. Please. Who buys a lettuce from a car boot sale? Well, that'd be why it would be even more weird. Thank you very much. Liz Trust selling lettuces from the boot of a car. Absolutely. There you go. That's what we're doing. And uh, Rishi Sunak, Lord knows what we can do with him. I'll need more time to think of something. Should make the Marshall Capital. Absolutely, Alex. I agree with you there. The Marshall Capitals were rancid things. I really hated travelling on them. And, uh, and now they're gone, I feel really sad. <laughs> I'd love to ride on one again. Even though they were dingy, mouldy. Oh, terribly sorry, madam. Uh, yes, stands for East Yorkshire Motor Services, EYMS. Right, hang on, where am I going? Straight ahead? Straight on. Do you know what? We're going uh, to take that there. 
And then we're going to, for the Discord, we're going to get a nice little... Oh, look at that. So if Fully wasn't watching, I mean, obviously there'll be the... Hang on, well, well... It's a lot easier to take photos on Euro Truck Sim 2 than it is on this. There we go. Let's let's have a... Let's have a... a like that. We'll, we'll hide the red text. Oh, look at that. Right, red text, come back again. There we go. And we need the directions again, because we'll get lost otherwise, won't we? There we go. Absolutely agree with you there, Rimran. I love this bus too. It's an awesome drive. And it just sounds so good. They really got the sounds right on this, didn't they? Those engine sounds. Oh, they're just lovely. Oh, hang on. Wee. Not doing good this evening with taxis, am I? I love this little bit. This little bridge. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's a really nice area of town. Oh, thanks, Will. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. And do you know what? I think we're doing pretty well. We're only four and a half minutes late. You have a message on your ticket. Oh, I never bothered to read those. Normally, they're just yelling at me for something. William Ticky Duck. Loose sheep from Macaulay Ross. Loose sheep on the road. Please keep an eye. Do you know what? I've not spoken to Macaulay in ages. I should send him a message, really, shouldn't I? Right, you've had your opportunity to get on chaps, and you haven't. I'm not edging the bus forward just to get you on. Why am I indicating? It's not an indicatorable road. We've got enough passengers. That's the back wheel. That was close. It wasn't just close, love. It smashed the, uh, smashed the rims into smithereens. We were beyond close. Uh, E200MMC ZF or E300 Voith. I think I picked the Enviro 300. Uh, for anyone that knows me will know I'm a fan of the bigger buses, like the full size single decks, double decks, etc. I'm not really a lover of midi buses, so uh, yeah, the, the Enviro 200 doesn't win for me, I'm afraid, uh, David. Has to be the Enviro 300. I drive the Enviro 200s, but I think it's too bouncy in OMSI. I like all the buses in OMSI, the suspension is super over-exaggerated. What do I think? Oh, hang on, oh, we've just hit somebody. That's why you shouldn't be looking at streaming text whilst driving. I tell you, it's not good. Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. It's a while since I've driven the Enviro 200. We're pulling out in front of him. Oh, no, not another siren. I'm having Vietnam-style flashbacks to flipping Stockton Row. There's always one, isn't there? I think I've made my point. Heard something about TPE not allowed to have their contract. I don't know. I don't know. I've I've not heard anything like that, Imran. I uh, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. You know me. I'm the last to know absolutely everything. Ooh, give me a diorider, mate. Uh, can I have um, a uh, you call? Literally, my house would fall down, and I'd probably be the last to know, even whilst I was in it. There we go. Right, they're not getting on anymore. Jay McKnight and Sean Maxwell. Hello. Welcome to our stream. Oh, what is happening now? You're joking. Oh, no. Can we just nip down this bus lane here? Oh, they're all going. It's a red light, isn't it? I suppose I'm better. Right. Please don't go down here. 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 He's not coming down here, thank the Lord. I don't think you can really justify running that red light, Mr. Fob Focus. Seeing as he went flying past on in the other lane. Right, off we go. Every time I had a ride on a Marshall Capital, it would break down or refuse to start on the slightest of hills. Yeah, around Halifax, where I grew up, um, the Marshall Capital did struggle because uh, obviously Halifax was full of hills. Right, we're going this way then. Lovely. Yeah, I never was on one when it broke down, but it certainly didn't like going up hills. The same again for the, uh, well, any of the Dennis Darts. They're not the quickest of buses. Particularly not fully laden uh, when it was meant to be for a B10 VLE. You squashed it. Oh, I'm sorry. You've missed your stop if you wanted that one. Oh, 
look at that. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's such a pretty map. Fully really has captured, uh, you know, the, the just the beauty of... Uh, I mean, I'm sure that some of these areas are based on... Well, I know some of these areas are based on real-life areas. But, uh, yeah, it really, really is beautiful. His attention to detail is second to none. Uh, return, please. Oh, hang on. If I must. Think he was coming down here anyway. He had the look of someone that was going up that way. Hey dear. See, I normally drive the 64 if I'm driving our car, so I, I don't really know where we are now. But this is the sort of bit where, you know, we could do with a bit of scenery there. I mean, fully knows this. He's not thought, oh, well, do you know what? I was going to leave that blank. I thought we'd just have a massive field. Um, you know, so for those of you that are saying, oh, you know, is, is it long? Uh, what's left to do? There's, there's still definitely things there. Uh, I said I'd help him with the timetable. I can tell you this timetable wasn't mine. We'll just pull right past them. Only one woman. Go on, love. You can get on. We'll all wait for the next one. Can I have a return, please? I think the green line could really do uh, with being double deckers, and that's probably why the double deckers are branded for the green line. At EYMS, we all hated driving the Alexander ALX 300 MANs. They were like tanks to drive. And the turning circle was non-existent. Had a party the day they got rid of them. Not a fan then. That's interesting, Francesca, because um, the people that have worked at Stagecoach said they absolutely love them. I wonder why it was the... Hey, um, oh, yeah, go, 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 go. I mean, yeah, I can't even pretend I haven't clipped that curb. We're, we're, yeah, we're somewhat embedded in it, aren't we? We won't even start. This is foot to the floor. There we go. Steer off it and then round. Yeah, the, uh, the stagecoach drivers I spoke to seem to love them, so I wonder why stagecoach loved them. And East Yorkshire hated them. Very odd. Very odd. But yeah, they had massive dinner plate-like steering wheels, didn't they, as well? Hello, Joe. How are you? I just did some eclipse driving, and it was an absolute rocket. Excellent. Yes, we do love a bit of eclipse driving. I'm very well, because obviously I'm eclipse driving, and I'm assuming that you're well as well, after eclipse driving as well. I went through a red light for an ambulance. That is excellent stuff. Um, providing, obviously, the ambulance required you to go through a red light. If you, you know, just saw an ambulance parked up and thought, I'll, I'll run a red light, that's less heroic. Will says, I'll have a party when Leeds get rid gets rid of the street lights and the street decks. And we've got plenty of time to do your party planning then, Will, because I don't think we'll be going anywhere anytime soon. 321 to 330 ALX 300 were nasty buses. Heck, not just not just poor buses, but nasty. Oh, hang on, you can't get on because we're full. Sorry, chaps. Oh, this guy is leaning into the road. Are we back on time yet? No. I'm very well, Imran. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> You've been here ages. You know how I am. <laughs> I went through a red light and accidentally hit a kid. I'm really hoping Kettle likes buses. Hello there. That um, you're on about Omzi there. Because <laughs> uh, otherwise this has taken a much more sinister turn. No, I am. Drove a Euro 4. Drove a Yorkshire 9 and got 55 mile an hour on one of the Euro 4s. Wow! I do like that Route 9. It's brilliant, isn't it? Ah, there you go. We've got a bit of rivalry here. Random Explorer. I love the man ALX 300. Uh, there was something about the buses I liked, but my favourite buses were the Right Eclipse 2, Renown and 400 MMC. There you go. Who's going uh, Who's going to win that argument, then? Random Explorer... Or, uh, of course, the lovely Francesca. Oh, it's going to be a close one. I think it's because a lot of the uh, stagecoach buses in Hull were MANs. Only had a handful of them, all ALX 300s. When you braked, they always pulled sideways. They squealed like hell. Yeah, I can imagine that might get annoying after a while. This taxi's just driven through the other taxi. <laughs> Do you think we should tell him? Yeah, I guess when it's all that you drive then 
I guess you sort of just get used to it, don't you? But then if you work for East Yorkshire where you've got fantastic B7RLEs to compare, well, then maybe that's why. Right there you this. go. Maybe, maybe we've solved it, folks. That's why you come to this channel. That's why I'm saying it hit the passengers and being late. Yeah, <laughs> we are very late. We are very late, aren't we? It's not good. Uh, Daniel Levy, good evening. Hello, welcome to our lovely stream. Uh, what wheel do I use? I use a Thrustmaster T300. We've committed. It was the excitement of seeing that van on its roof again. We've not been down here in a while, have we? I've missed the van on its roof. I still don't really get the meaning. I'm sure it's poking fun at somebody else, but I'm not quite sure the reference. Oh, that's another curb. Do you know what? I can't drive, can I, when uh, when I'm reading the text. There we go. Towards Pendle. Oh, I love Pendle Station. It's such a pretty area of map. Ah, uh, there you go. Francesca and Mike are in agreement. East Yorkshire should never have got rid of 367 to 372. They were nice B7, B7Ls or B7TLs. Were they B7Ls? I didn't know East Yorkshire had B7Ls. Maybe they did. Uh, yeah, love driving them, Francesca says. So there we go. We're not all fighting. Some people are agreeing. And that's excellent. We like it when people are in agreement. This is new. There never used to be a coach part here. How long is it since I've driven down here? You're going to tell me that that was always there, aren't you? Uh, Lumix, thank you very much. Very kind of you to say. Uh, watch all your videos, and they're very enjoyable. I'm glad you enjoy them. That's that's what I do this for, is for everyone to enjoy them. Uh, a gamer, not inside a gamer. That's a different person. A gamer. Uh, Joe Dobson, what do you think of the right Gemini ones in Norwich? First took over X Bradford Gemini ones and twos. I weren't aware they had uh, X Bradford ones, but good lord, uh, I knew they had some leads. Gemini 2s, they're the 12 plates, aren't they? They went down quite a while ago. Um, BL12, was it, if I remember rightly? I didn't know they got Bradford Gemini 1s, to tell you the truth. That's a shame. And I can understand why they've gone, because, uh, of course, Bradford has its clean air zone now, so uh, they've been sort of cascaded out everywhere, haven't they? So if they're not Euro 6, they're, uh, they're, they're kind of moved. Ah, of course, getting later, so they're all parked in the bus lane. Of course. 367... Ah, they were B7RLEs. My apologies. There we go. That makes sense. Yeah, I do love a B7RLE. Are they those ones that some of them went up to... Um, go north east, didn't they? Did they go up there? I think they did. Blue Anna Turner Clark. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our stream this evening. How are you? Uh, we've also got uh, Gav Jarman. Glad you could catch one of the live streams. Excellent channel and fantastic videos. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. I'm glad you enjoy it. Hang on, where are we going here? Straight on. 60's turn left to Pendle. There we go. We're all going left. I don't think we branch off different ways now, do we? I think we all uh, stay... The 63 and 64, I think they stay the same route now. All the way there. It would have been brilliant to uh, actually get some AI traffic, but obviously I only realised just uh, when was it that I realised? About 1855 so obviously that is a problem isn't it, when the stream started at 1900 can't really go adjusting technical features <gasps> Connell doesn't like a B10 PLE, good lord has Connell been on a B10 PLE because that, you know, if he's not been on one that might be why he doesn't like them it's one of those you sort of have to go on to fully appreciate, so that might be why Ah, first have turned them into Euro 6 for Norwich's clean air zone in 2025. Oh, everywhere's going to get clean air zones, aren't they? I won't be able to tap my B7 hourly anywhere. That won't be good. The Arriva Medway buses aren't the best. Are you not a fan, Lumix? Right, we're 6.4 minutes late. I thought we'd do this quicker, to be honest with you. I seem to remember we used to be able to run to time, so maybe the timetable's been altered. Right, here we go. 
just nip straight out. I'm going to clip the curb if that car's there. Oh no, we just avoided it. Hi there. Oh no, it's a single, please. Uh, yeah, I absolutely agree with you, the skinny bacon. Um, the attention to detail in this map is brilliant. It really is. It's one of the best maps out there. In fact, I would go as far as to say that this is the best map out there in terms of attention to detail. I I just love and I just I just love driving this map. The problem I have with this map, and you know, it's not so much a criticism as a inconvenience. Is the fact that the actual best bit of the route is, uh, you know, for me, is this like countryside, villagey, towny type of driving. I'm not too fussed about the city driving. Um, that's just what I prefer. Some people like driving in the cities. Some people don't. And uh, you know, so this for me is the best part. But to drive this part of the map, you have to drive the route that's over an hour in length. And so you have to say, you know, I like to go there and back. So that's over two hours, nearly three hours if you're going to be late all the time. Just because you're in an ambulance doesn't mean you can drive like a lunatic. Um, yeah, so you know, that's that's almost three hours, and that's quite a large chunk of your day, isn't it? So that's the only problem I have. But if there are more routes coming, if some of the routes are maybe a little bit shorter, then this will be my favourite map, and you'll never get me off it. I'll always be on this map. Uh, Francesca, my favourite bus at East Yorkshire was 714. A Volvo B90, I would definitely buy it. So smooth, lovely to drive. We used it a lot. When uh, it was on coaching for college runs, I get you. Yeah, I do love a B9. They are nice, aren't they? What's that noise? Is that the fountain? Brilliant. The street light looks too clinical to me as much as you think the same. Just yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the street lights, really. I just I don't think they have a lot of character. But then there was probably people that thought the same when the eclipses came out, you know, just yeah, they're a bit naff them, aren't they? Um, so, you know, I guess time moves on, there'll be people one day preserving streetlights, I guarantee it one day people will buy streetlights and Enviro 200 MMCs and things like that, and you know, we can all screw our faces up and go, no, they'll never get preserved, but then you know, I've spoken to people that I would say were old folk they're probably not that old, but you know, when you're younger you look at people and think, oh, god, old old man um, but there's people that have said when they've seen me and my B7 like oh my god I never thought one of them would get preserved so you know it, it moves on it does move on it's weird you know it's weird for me seeing a B7 not in service that's that's preserved seeing them all scrapped it's you know it is sad. Oh, okay. right, what would happen if you go the wrong way uh, you run out of map Kyle <laughs> is, uh, is the short answer uh, the no, map is okay. only uh, this route. So if you go the wrong way, literally the road just stops. There we go, take the money there. There we go. I mean, if you go left, that's, yeah, you just get to that convenience store. Or if we go down here, if I don't turn right further down, we just run out of road. So, uh, yeah, you, you can't get lost, really. Yeah, this route's a little bit long, but that doesn't mean to say that we shouldn't have this route, because every now and then, you want a really long route. It's like, I love driving Lincolnshire, but you have to set the time aside, don't you? So, if the route, if the map has short routes and long routes on, brilliant. Then, yeah. So, um, yeah, that that's, that's, I'm hoping there will be shorter and longer routes. There might be shorter and longer routes. Uh, fingers crossed in time. Again, it depends when the next beta comes out that I can show you things uh, that's been happening. Yeah, exciting times. It better I watch this stream. I did it especially for him. I'll do that now. Uh, Connolly, you'd love to buy a 400 MMC, but when they're as low as, yeah, 99.9 .9 grand, you you might have to wait a few years. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'd pay that much for an MMC. Uh, Lumix found your channel through Stepford County. Absolutely, it was an absolutely fantastic game. Uh, but for various reasons we won't be going back to Stepford County unfortunately. Um, I won't bore you with the details. 
trying to keep viewers here, not send them all away, but uh, yeah, we probably won't be looking at Stepford County. Uh, not in the near future anyway, to tell you the truth. There's so many brilliant simulator games like this out, I, I find we'd be doing them an injustice by, uh, you know, by not... Why does nobody want to get on the bus all of a sudden? Are we full again? How on earth are we full so close to Bendel? Shouldn't it be getting quieter at this point? The driver nearly threw me off the bus. Oh no, that's no good. <laughs> Fully, are you here? If so, say hi to Joe. Absolutely, Will. No, I think if he is here, I, I don't think he is, but if he is here, he'll be keeping quiet, because if I know he's here, I might say things that I wouldn't say if I thought he wasn't here. But the thing with YouTube is he, you know, he, he could go watch it back, couldn't he, I suppose? So, I don't know. I just think it would be something Fully would do, is to sit here quietly, just observing. Alex Turson's absolutely fuming, good lord. Uh, as I'm September 2023, Stagecoach is leaving my hometown Wigan. Due to them losing the contracts, so Go North West are taking over. Yeah, I, I find that a bit weird, what's going on in Manchester. I do find that a little bit weird. Um, because Stagecoach, like, are, are they buying them out? How does that work? A, a GM... It's not GMPTE, Christ alive, it's not been GMPTE for quite a few years. But, like... Are they buying Stagecoach? Because if Stagecoach has a business, you know, Stagecoach spent a lot of money a few years ago buying first Wigan, didn't they? So, the Transport for Greater Man uh, Manchester? Transport for Greater Manchester can't just come and say we're taking this. So they, they must have had to buy them out, surely. It, that, uh, it's just odd, isn't it, that like a commercial company, they can just say, oh, by the way, we're, we're taking it off you. It just, I don't really get it. It's just, it, it confuses me. It's more than my little brain can work out. Francesca, my coach driver, Acklam's in Beverly. Uh, my partner's a coach driver, sorry, Acklam's in Beverly. Uh, things were that bad at East Yorkshire, the training manager, who was a diehard EYMS, left to be the training manager there. Can you tell I'm trying to drive whilst reading at the same time, which is why we're doing two miles an hour. Uh, it's really gone downhill. That's really Jesus sad, isn't it? No, driving it like a madman, we weren't above 10 mile an hour for crying out loud. Yeah, it's it's a real shame when like a family-run business that seemed to have such a good kind of reputation just has lost it. It really, really is sad. There we go, we can watch all these going off, uh, getting off the bus now. Uh, yeah, Pendle 63 all the way. Pendle 63. The 63 to Pendle. All the way from, uh, from, where were we now? Um, the middle of Arcala, all the way to not the middle of Arcala. Stockton Row to, to this place, Pendle. Lovely. Uh, maybe next time we'll drive the 64 going the other way. We might do, we might not. We'll, uh, we'll have to see uh, what we get round to. But yes, it has been absolutely fantastic. I know this has been a little bit shorter than we usually do on a live stream, but to tell you the truth, uh, I'm probably going to have to go to bed because I'm up at the crack of dawn tomorrow. Um, so yes, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope that you have enjoyed that. I will aim to bring you as much Akala gossip uh, as and when I get drip fed it and get the all clear to show you. So do make sure that you subscribe if you have enjoyed it, because of course I'd, I'd like to think we'll revisit it. I mean, even if he doesn't send it, we'll revisit this particular version with missing scenery and that because it's awesome as I'm sure you'll agree click the like button on the video because it doesn't take a minute to do and it helps me out that's nice isn't it do your, your little good turn for the day oh lovely and uh, yeah thank you so so much for watching thank you to everyone Francesca Mike Magic Toad uh, Lou B uh, Joe uh, whose name I've completely forgotten I'm sorry Imran Arriva of course is uh, is in the chat as well uh, I'm, I'm really sorry Joe we were talking like all night weren't we I'm scrolling up the chat now I can't see it uh, I can't see your name maybe you've gone of which case this wouldn't be as embarrassing CG skins as well big M47 Iceman uh, and various others I'm so sorry Joe Joe Holland there we go there we go he's the, the new celebrity of this stream because uh, I forgot his name. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, yes, thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. And hopefully, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.